Have you guys gone out and done the organic methods yet? Have you got on the phone and called local realtors and real estate investors in your area and asking for their garbage, their stuff that they can't use? No, no that's something we need to how, do. How would we do that? What would like? How would we find? We, that? we have a section on that, right? We put it, put something together on that, Blair. No, no, we never did that. We just talk about it here on the calls. Okay, a lot. We need, we need to write that up. Here's uh, the gist of it. You just go find all the other investors in your area and call them and say, hey, you get any dead leads that don't have enough equity? Send them my way. I specialize in low equity deals. I'll send you a fee if I buy one. Low, so you're looking for low equity deals? Uh -huh. it, yeah, any deals where they just, they just simply did not qualify for what that investor was looking for. Here's the, so yeah. would you put an ad in Craigslist? Like, no, you just... There? No, you go to Craigslist and you look up all the guys who say, I buy houses cash. And any place that you see a sign around your community where somebody's got, I, we buy houses cash, fast clothes, all that, you call those guys up because they're spending money for marketing, right? They're spending money to get people to call them. And they're getting a certain number of calls from people who, for example, have a house that may be worth 200 and they owe 180. Well, that's not enough money for a real estate flipper to get involved. It's not enough for a wholesaler to get involved. So that's, that's a garbage lead for them. They can't do anything with it. You know, they have to tell the person I can't, there's nothing I can do. So what's happened though, is they've spent the money to get the marketing going to get that call. And they've not been able to monetize. That was just lost for them. It's literally garbage for them. So you're calling and saying, listen, I'll take out your garbage for you. Give me the stuff that you don't want. It had low equity or warts on it, pimples, whatever. Send it my way. If we do something, we'll send you 500000 or 1000 you guys decide, if we do a deal with those people. And you can call every real estate investor and every real estate agent in your area because real estate agents market to get listings, right? And so, but a lot of times they get that same call from that same seller. You know, I owe 180 it's worth 200 That's not enough money to pay a real estate commission and closing costs and maybe some minor, you know, pest control work. That what's going to happen in that situation, that seller is going to have to write a check to make their sale instead of get a check at the close of the sale. And so those aren't things that those realtors can do anything with either. You know, that's to them, that's also a garbage lead that they marketed, spent money for to get people to call, but they can't list it. So you're doing the same thing with a real estate agent. You're saying, give me your garbage leads. And, uh, you know, we'll send you some money if we end up making, you know, anything on the deal. We end up doing a deal with them. Okay. Great. Okay. And that, that is nothing other than your time. And, you know, um, you just, you Google real estate agents in your area. You go on Craigslist and you look at any real estate agents who are listing houses for sale. You call them. And then the same thing with any investors who have at, put an ad on Craigslist to buy houses or have houses for sale. Sure. So you call all them and you say, you know, anything you don't want, we're, you know, we take the low equity deals. That's what we can do. I, I don't know how I've missed this. I have realtor friends. I need to just go talk to them. Yeah. He's yeah. the friend king. He has golfs with like everybody in our people <laughs> yeah. that I'm like, how do you know all these people? Like he knows everyone. So. Well, I've done the business 20 years and I don't run any marketing anymore for my business. None. It's all done word of mouth. It's all done for me picking up the phone or somebody calling me and saying, Hey, are you still buying in, you know, East Overshoe, New Hampshire, you know, and they send me deals. Okay. Cool. So, and you pay them like, what would you offer? He said 500. Oh, 500. 500 or a thousand bucks, depending on the, you know, the, the value of a deal, okay. um, that type of thing. And you don't, you only pay them once if and when you close and when you get paid. Okay. But it's literally garbage for these guys. So you can, you can help them do something with something that they can't do anything with that they paid for. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so sorry. And, and don't forget to call the for sale by owners in your Craigslist as well. I know this is kind of, you know, ghetto slumming. I'm sure Blair would think of it this way, <laughs> but I have no problem getting on the internet and just, rooting through it like a pig yeah and, you know <laughs> while we're <laughs> i have no shame i don't I'll, I'll work for a month for a buck you know 
<laughs> it, is, it is what it is. So yeah, okay, all right. Just, just since we were, just since you guys got on, I just looked on Craigslist, East Idaho. There's 713 houses listed on Craigslist right now. Yeah, they all have realtors. We've kind of stayed away from the realtor stuff, but yeah, I put for sale by owner, and I got forty three um, yeah. of those. But that's forty three houses you could sell. Now that's only the for sale by owners. I didn't go to the rentals. You know, you do the rentals, and you you pull out the the brokers, and you keep the for sale, the for rent by owners. Those are also good leads. Once again, those are organic. It's uh, it's you know it's getting in there and if you don't like spending money, which I don't like spending money unnecessarily, it's just a good way to go get that job done free. Okay, so I cool. kind of like that because I've been seriously not sleeping at night. I'm like, we're gonna like go broke if we, yeah, because I feel like I don't understand the process enough. It'd be nice to have time to learn the process and not feel like we have to put out so much money to learn it, if that makes sense. So yeah, I yeah. kind of want that idea. Well, in order to scale to largest scale, you, you have two choices. Um, you know, if you, I mean, you can do, you know, one here, one there, the way I described it until you get in the business for a long time, you develop good contacts. Um, or you can fire up the marketing system and, you know, get that thing going for you. But what I would suggest is go do a deal or two organically, as I call it, the free methods first, then build your war chest, and then go fire it up on all cylinders. Okay. Right. Let's get you in the money first. Let's get you making. They're not hard. They really are not hard to find. I mean, everybody that challenges me, I literally can find something within a few minutes in any area. They're out there. There's stuff everywhere. Okay. Um, Ashley's on the call. She can tell you. We taught her how to do it, and she's she went out her first day and found the the six properties in Texas, and she's in Oregon. Okay. Using the phone. Okay. And the internet. No marketing. So it's, it's certainly doable.